friends welcome back to my channel and before we get into it let's get those disclaimers out of the way and then hop into it of course before we get started we do have those disclaimers to get out of the way i live near a major highway here in the country of belize so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background where i live there's also a lot of wild birds you may hear them calling chirping and crying in the background and thirdly guys i have dogs I have dogs, my neighbors have dogs, so if anyone comes in this neighborhood, you will hear those dogs, including my own, start barking, and with that, I get back to my regular scheduled program. So what are we doing today? Um, guys, just a note, I have just filmed my disclaimers, because it's just something I've been mentioning a lot, and I've been thinking about, instead of um, just using a motion to continuously repeat it, I just decided to do a filming of it and then I'll just add that clip in whenever I need to do my disclaimers because it's about the same time. So you will see a picture, um, exactly it's the picture I was working on at the beginning of this video. So one of them is actually, so um, you will see that. But of course, let's get into what we're doing today. What we're doing is that we are using our pasta pens. Yes, it's ours. Okay, it just happens to be in my custody at the moment. But we'll, we'll be using our pasta pens in order to illustrate, render, sorry, this illustration here. Why we're doing that today? Because I don't use my pastas enough and I really want to get into using it. I've used it on this book before. This is the little sketchbook that I made and I've also used some um, handmade watercolor brown on it. To kind of prime the paper a little bit and it actually takes um, these paint pens really well so we're gonna be doing that today and we're just using it for a small illustration maybe depending on the time we will hop over into the other illustration the little leaf looking thing I have here so let's get into it and uh, why talk I've already did the Posca review so it's just a quick and easy color with me session let's go Okay friends, so what was my intention in rendering this piece? I was trying to initially first render with first perspective in mind and render with form in mind. First you see me here going in with some browns. This brown is the Posca pens. Now these Posca pens is the one millimeter, so they're very fine tip. You see me there mixing my greens. I had a huge glob that you saw just just glob so I decided to use just the squirrely method after this and you see me now trying to illustrate that perspective trying to render that perspective into place diffusing some of that greens out so it doesn't look too um, I don't know trying to make sure it looks like it's gradually going towards the back versus of just three different color green being put down that's what I was trying to establish here. And in the water, I was trying to establish that formness of it, that it's very full, it's something that is very fluidy and very flowing. And that's why I was very spotty with the color. I didn't do one color. And now that I think about it, I might go over it again and just try to use one color. But I like, did you see me here showing my mixing process? This is how I mix the browns for the threes. The reason why I add yellows was because I wanted to illustrate that this tree is more towards the front versus the other trees which are more a little towards the back to kind of go into that uniformness and to try to illustrate exactly that separation that I was talking about in that perspective viewpoint. And that's about it. I'm just trying to keep everything in a cool manner that's towards the back and bring everything that's towards the front in a more warm manner. And that's one of the things I learned in doing uh, my rendering and my self-taught process. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and I will see you in the end where we can discuss some of our conclusions. Okay guys, I am finished. You got saw my entire process. You saw me do mostly painting more than using the pastas as markers. I did that towards the end. Um, what do I love about these? I love the fact that I'm getting into this painterly feel. You know, I'm treating the pastas like watercolors, which doesn't really make it bring out its acrylic effect. But yeah, you guys know me. I really love watercolor, so. Um, the one thing I was having trouble with is the, the water. I was trying to make the water bright and at the same time gradiated, but spotty. And I accomplished somewhat of what I wanted to do, 
but right about here it doesn't look right for me I mean everywhere else looks good except for that area there um, I love the gradation I was able to produce in this area here for the um, the trees to let to, to give the indication of what's further to the back and to let the viewer from nearer to far that's one thing I noticed I should put out a vlog about it because I've noticed it a lot and I, I spoke about it already in a previous vlog where I travel a lot on the road and I notice this gradation from what is in front of you to what is more to the back and it has this cooler effect to it so I wanted to produce that effect I hope I succeeded but all in all guys this was relaxing this was fun I enjoyed the process let me know what you think in the in the comments below whatever you think guys just let me know um, I enjoyed it and as always guys thank you so much for joining me on this journey um, I know I'm improving I see it now and um, it's only going to get better after this. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.